All right, guys, we've got the battle of the century here. Serious, serious matchup. The Sabian Quiet Tones versus Zildjian LAE. I'm gonna keep this low volume because of the nature of the video. Yeah, bear with me. For those of you who haven't seen our previous video about the L80s, um, it's basically B8 bronze, the same alloy that they use for the ZBTs, perforated, means there's holes everywhere for those of you who don't have that higher vocabulary. This one's got a nice coating on it, um, like a sandblasted coating on it to help enable that, you know, that short, short sustain. They feel very nice. They respond really well, not too heavy, and just feels feels pretty realistic, pretty responsive. I would say these are meant for the player who doesn't hit as hard or has a certain degree of finesse on the kit. Got a really nice sizzle to it. Again, that's all part partly to do uh, because of the finish that they got on there, and um, sound drops really nicely. Really complements the rest of the uh, the kit. Next up we have the Sabian Quiet Tone Symbols. Quite a contrast to the uh, Zildjian. Why? Because they have a bigger bell profile on each one of the symbols, the ride, the crash and the hats. And as opposed to the uh, coated uh, sandblasted finish that you have on the Zildjian, um, these right here have a very brilliant polished alloy finish. So it looks really good on the kit actually, it looks really sharp but it's a much louder proposition. Um, for those of you who like to bash, pause, and bash hard, pause, but harder hitters, definitely, this will appeal to you because it's, it's a slightly thicker cymbal. They do have quite a goggy sound on them, especially that ride. <laughs> I held it and it kept on going, but there you go. The response that you get from the tip of the stick is really good. Um, just a heavier and brighter kind of solution. So, as you can see, head-to-head -head are looking quite similar. The holes on the Zildjian uh, low volume are slightly millimeter or two smaller than the uh, Sabian ones. Uh, the real difference you would see is in finish. Is like this kind of sandblasted finish, obviously to enable it to kind of dip quickly. Quiet tone, you have this brilliant kind of polished finish high pitch, high frequency. They're not too far apart thickness wise. I would say that the, the uh, quiet tone is slightly thicker. Slightly thicker. And this is just the crashes we're dealing with. The bell profile is a much higher bell profile here, but it's, it's, it's more spread out and bigger on this one. Um, so you would have two distinct sounds. 
on that. But yeah, so I mean, here we have like you know two types of types of symbol for the same use. The Sabians are quite heavy compared to the Zildjans. Zildjans more playful. So if you're uh, looking f to play louder and harder during practice, you might want to lean towards uh, the Sabian. You can still play at a good level. I mean, it will take a beating, but you know, not excessive. These are not meant really to be for, for tone and, you know, hearing the symbol of thinking, ah, oh, this is great as I'm practicing. It's meant to respond like a symbol, it's meant to sound okay, you see what I'm saying? But out of the two, I'd probably prefer the sound of the, uh, <coughs> the L80s. Low volume symbols are a bit abrasive for me in general, but I can understand why they made something like that. I can understand who it would appeal to and why it would work. So there's pros and cons with both, but it's up to you to decide what is best for you and your setup based on your situation. So we hope you like what you've seen today. I um, hope it's been helpful to you. Obviously, it's two uh, very interesting types of low volume symbol. Please do not hesitate to like, subscribe, and let us know what you think in the comment section. Is this a type of thing that you'd want to go for? Silent symbols in general? Do you prefer the high pitch brashness of the uh, the Sabian, or you do prefer the slightly more refined, soft tonal elements of the uh, L80. What one appeals to your ear more? Give us your opinion, let us know what you think. And when you're making that purchase, keep us in mind. Take care.